Hello and welcome to episode 8 of Tap Wizard 2. I'm ready to reach Era 3, but it doesn't exist yet. I did quite a lot of progress, and this video will be presented in a non linear order, but it will still make sense. It was much easier to manage things that way. Right now, I'm showing you a build that I have. Don't like it too much, but I need those achievements for poison and electricity or lightning. I'm not sure of the name because I keep playing games with either electricity or lightning. But anyways, if you look on the right how many rooms I have, that's because I'm trying some of those special achievements. I'm going to show you which one I'll get today. I'll get two, I'll fail one, and I'll explain why. Now, if we take a look, we know what Mana Star is, but I'll be able to upgrade. I'm about to click on it here. The Star Wisdom, okay. And from now on, I'm going to get one Radiant Star every time. I awaken. The question is, what is a Radiant Star? So we're gonna do a jump cut, a non-linear one, but it doesn't matter. I just want to show you what a Radiant Star is. That's what it is. The next perk you will select will gain an extra perk level. That means it's level 2 right away. It's quite nice. I'll upgrade that Star of Wisdom as much as I can until it says I can no longer upgrade it until I am in Era 3, but I won't show you uh, that footage. Now we're going to take a look at the memory tree. I'll make a little montage where I'm showing you every single node that I bought since last episode, back to back to back, while we listen to some of the game's music. And I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Isn't the music awesome in this game? It's really, really good. So this is a ring I was interested in buying. It gives me 20% of the next level if I forget to uh, upgrade my staff, which is nice. Because I don't really pay attention all the time. So it's pretty good. And now there's skins. I'm not going to show you that because it's brand new. By the way, this is the last mob that I unlock. If you're interested in the lore, please let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll... Uh, show you each of them one by one slowly in a future video. This is one of the special achievements I got, but it's an easy one. 
All I need to do is reach level 5 in a perk, it's kind of automatic. There's one difficult one I'm gonna try which I will fail and I'll succeed another one that's also challenging. In fact, look at the rooms on the left. That's me trying to get to wave 50 with level 0 enchantment. But the problem is I was trying something else as well. I don't know if you're gonna nuts this set. I'll try to be fast. You see how the fourth one is level 0 XP? Uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but I need to keep this at level 0 to get the achievement I'm gonna show you later. I should not have tried both at once. So I failed this, but I'm pretty sure that as we speak right now, if I was to try, I would be able to do it. So next episode, I'll probably show you that. But at the end of the video, I'll explain more what I plan to do in terms of episodes. Here, I'm showing that you can upgrade your offline gains. So it costs you 10 in-game currency. After that, you can upgrade. And once again, I'm going to reach the point where it says error 3. I'm not going to show it to you, but now I get rooms. And this is the spirit engine. I just want to show you the progress I've been doing. So everything is level 2. But not everything. The first four are level 2. And the last two are level 1. And I'm just going from left to right. I keep it simple. Uh, so this is where I stand for spirit engine. And sometimes I have to turn it off for special achievements. Like the one that requires me to have enchantment level 0. I need to shut down the spirit engine for that. And look at that, zero second to Kindle. So I'm ready to Kindle, but it says coming soon. I don't know how soon. Uh, I'm hoping it's soon, but not too soon because there's one or two videos I would like to do. More on that in the conclusion. So we're closer to a build that I like. I like how these pillars roll little fireballs, but this is not a final build. Okay. So this is what I failed, and here I succeeded reaching level 25. Oh, that's how it's called, analytic absorption. The thing with XP, right? I kept it at zero. It took me a while to reach level 25, but it's not that hard. Just take some time. So I got this one, and later on, we'll look at that. 6.3 quadrillion gold, 10 quadrillion power, 441,000 health, and look at that. Look at me upgrade this using my auto clicker in a second. <laughs> Let's go. And now it's going to be much easier to level up my staff. All right. Let's see what's next. I'm trying to remember here. It was all over the place. I had 10 gigs worth of uh, footage. Okay, so 1000% movement speed and dodge 10 attacks in a row. That will happen later. I'll try to get those achievements before era 3 gets released so era 4 appears faster by the way those see those so those are future totems for era 3 this might be a sign that era 3 is coming soon i don't know oh yeah there's also this vertigo vertigo is needed for one of the special achievements i'm gonna show it to you i want to thank you i forgot your name but thank you whoever you are for explaining to me that I need... Oh, it's, it specifies it now? You see via the vertigo room? Well, it used not to. Before, it wasn't saying that you needed that room. Well, you need to die upside down. Okay? All right. So, 25 or 27, that's fine. Okay, I'm showing the tree. You see 28? I reached 32, did I not? That's because I reached it after this footage, but I showed it to you before. But my goal, of course, is to reach 42 out of 42 before I got 3. And I want to do as many achievements as possible. And uh, 1.8 million kills. So those are my stats. What I plan to do, there's these challenges. I call them challenges. I don't know how to call them exactly. We'll see next episode how they call it exactly because I forgot. And I can't really check because I would have to awaken. But there's sort of challenges that I want to do. I want to do that. And also, I want to, again, finish all the achievements I can and max out the tree before era 3. So we'll see uh, in which order I'll do things. So stay tuned. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.